Hi and welcome to Tutorial CU. My name is Yannick and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use link in C Sharp data tables. So I have already created the code right here. You can find the source code and an introduction, well, as an article at our blog website. So you can find the link for that in the description below if you want to read this content as an article. Now just as a side information, data tables store data in memory. So if I hover above that, you can see that it represents one table of in-memory data. Now here I created a new class, I called it employees and I inherited it from the base class data table so that we can, well, add new columns, for example. And we got five columns here, ID, name, age, department and salary. You can see the type specified right afterwards, type of int, string, int, string, int, and I guess you get the idea already. Now here we got our program and as I said, I want to keep it as short as possible because it's a very, very, uh, well, short, uh, tiny topic, right? And here, let's create a new instance of the employees data table, right? Don't forget that it's inherited from the data table. So employees will be a data table. And now let's add some records to it. Here we got one, two, three, four, for sure as our primary key, or well, not really primary key, but just as an ID. Then we got the name, we got 30 here for our age, then we got the department and we got the salary. Now, what we want to achieve in the end is we want to filter by using link in that data table, we want to filter everyone who is working in IT and we want to sort them descending by salary. So first one should be Bob and second one should be John because Jane is working in HR and Samantha is working in marketing. So Bob is earning more than John. So the correct order would be Bob Johnson and then John Smith. So this is well something that you would use pretty often in real software development. And well, to be honest, like it doesn't really matter if you're using link on data tables or on real like entity framework, SQL connections or whatever, like link is super basic and you can use it for almost everything once you come to the point where you need to query data. Now that said, if you are interested in becoming a really, really very professional software engineer, if you want to land your first job, or just extend your skills to an incredible level, take a look at our C-Sharp Progress Academy. You can find the link popping up right now or you can find the link in the description. This is basically a self-paced online course and it consists out of multiple courses. So if I scroll down here, you can see that path. You start as a C-Sharp developer with basic knowledge, for example, then you take a look at ASP.NET and Angular, RESTful API development, Entity Framework, Core and SQL, Software Architecture, Unit Testing, and in the end, you will be a job-ready expert software engineer for sure. So yeah, uh, take a look at that. If you're interested, we would be happy to see you in that course. And now let's continue. Also, please subscribe to our channel so that you no longer miss upcoming C-Sharp related or .NET related videos and like this video if it helps you. Now here you can see the actual link query. So don't forget that link means language integrated query. So the main idea behind link is to, well, provide developers an easy way to query data. Now here we got our query. So we are building up a query using link. So what we basically say is, well, we have a list of uh, keywords for sure, like from, where, order, by, descending, select, and all of that. So this is more something uh, to basic link, right? Now we want to take a look on how you can really use it. So we are going to say that from employee, which is our data table, we want to take all employees as an enumerable so that we can iterate over it. So this is really like the crucial part here when it comes to data tables. You want to take the data table and set it as an enumerable so that you can iterate over it. If you are not sure about all of those topics, check the video which is getting shown right now. This is about iQueryable and iEnumerable and this gives you a basic introduction and a nice overview about differences between queries and collections. Afterwards, once we have our collection, let's just say it in, in those terms, we got the collection now, we want to filter. So we're gonna say take all employees where the field of type string, well actually department, has the value IT, right? So create a collection, we select everyone who is in IT, and now we're gonna order by, well order by, I don't have to explain that too much, right? Order by 
the field salary descending. And that's the nice part about link. It's very easy to read and very easy to understand. So take all employees, then filter them by department and then order them by salary descending. Now, finally, we want to get that back. We want to know the final records. So we're going to create a new select, uh, which is kind of like a new collection. And we want to take all of those from the query, which we have filtered all records, which we have filtered, and we want to give this information back. So for each element, which will be, for example, now John and Bob, we want to have John's ID, John's name, John's age, John's department and John's salary. Same goes for Bob too. So this is why we use select here. Now, when we take a look here at display the results, so we are done with the query and then we come to the for each loop so that we can iterate over every element. And now let me just go through that console right line here. You can see that we have a nice formatting here for ID, name, age, department, salary, and all of that. You can see that interpolation here. Now, if I scroll to the very end, you can see that we use item ID, name, age, department, and salary. And this is basically coming for sure from the query. So you can see that we can access the final records once the query is executed using this for each loop right here. So now let's start our application and let's take a look at the final result. You will see that we have Bob, who's working in IT with a salary of 6K, is our first uh, record because it's filtered and ordered descending. And then we got John, which is earning 5K a little bit less. So this is the correct order. Well, and actually this is how you can use link for C -sharp data tables. If you liked the video, as I said, subscribe to our channel so that you no longer miss upcoming videos. Check out our C -sharp Progress Academy. I'm absolutely sure that this is something that can help you grow as a developer. And if you're interested in other C -sharp topics, please leave a comment below. I'm super happy to create any video for you. Check out our blog article. Thanks and see you next time.